Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? But they are shake up the Facebook algorithm, them. Got them figures to them slick. Who wants some pop? Yes. What's I'm planting the about this morning? You can't just say nothing else. I go hold you. That I go hold you. Hold up. I call ya. Morning, I would that this so. Bam. Mm. What's on cornmeal? Yes, baby. Yes. So I'm not do today. I'm only here primarily to shake up the algorithm. Why? Because they've been keeping me from you. Morning, Ray. The people them think so them slick. Them go dig up one picture from way back when and report it. Then them block me. Then them keep me from the group. Then them say them I go put me in a lower feed. Come back with morning, Dennis. Where you going with? Jesus, I said the man them there early. But, um, good morning. <laughs> Don't mind me. But my day phone. What are you going with? All right, boy, who wants on the porridge? Now, as I said, I'm here to mess with their algorithms because one monkey don't stop, no show. You can't mess with me. So, I'm having a spectacular morning. I've gone and gotten my wax impression. But soon I'll teach. <laughs> Listen, if you can't laugh for yourself, who you gonna laugh for? Um, for the heck of it, yes, I did go on here and go pay for one good um, stream yard subscription. I got a couple of friends. Good morning, Dennis. Oh, thank you. Jesus, I would be no teacher, so I'm pretty. My gosh. Hi. What do you mean, what not me? Aya, that done great already. All wrong with you. <laughs> Wait. You know. I am the child of Lucille May Wilson Peart, darling. When it come to pop, pick a pop. With a flower pop, planting pop, banana pop, right, you know, matter. Me and the parrot, them, we is good friend. And I like how banana teeth, he's a damn good parrot person. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, would I, uh, you, you think they got to, you have to have the basics. Oh, and don't forget, since only thinks a, a beer tone raised me. Yes, drop a look at something I pot all the time. Except, um, Manala. Why is there no vanilla in my house? <laughs> and I think I know the reason. Make vanilla so damn expensive. Manala, I'm look on it. Hey, he's a person where you know some deal stuff. Alright, like. This menor say, I don't know what I was thinking. Same brand. This is Badia. Pink Himalayan salt. Bigger with a grind up on top. This is a two and change. When I fill up on the bottom shelf. <laughs> the big one, when in grind down already, $5. You know I'll never buy this one again, right? Okay. But such it is. I've been having a moment. I just came into a um, thoughts with don't know. Shake up the algorithms and make my pop. I already got in two miles this morning. So you can't tell me nothing. We're working on that. I have some pounds that I'd love to make disappear and fully melt off. Because more I want breast reduction. And the doctor didn't tell me we can't have the breast reduction until we lose weight. Now, I actually thought that by not having, you know, the top row of teeth. Good morning, Yvonne. How are you, darling? Wagwan. That I'd be, um, I'd instantly have an aversion to food. and But not no go so. 
and the top part of your mouth strong as heck and you can still eat. But not everything. You don't get to, you know, chew a whole lot of chewing because your mouth is sore and all that fun stuff. But I just knew the pounds were going to melt off. Lie. But I am finding a, what? A redistribution. I've seen some markers of curbs. You know, when you look on the poop, on the poop, I get a dent. <laughs> yes. Now I work for my airport fitness training. But I don't know when they have a pan playing, but you do know that winter. Morning, darling. I give thanks. May I try a little bit? They might keep me from you. That's why I'm there. I shake up algorithms. Because them figures say, why well, they have one something to switch up now? I can't even get to look at something when I have on Instagram for going on. I can't do that. So I've got to come to you direct. Live and direct from Charleston, South Carolina, Gullah Geechee Nation. Yes! Can't pass my pass. Anyway, many things say instantly. We're going to drop off because you're not teach for true. Live. But as I'm saying, there is a, a change going on in the structure. And um, at times I do spend too much time at my desk. The leg them, they swell up like elephant trunk. So, no, nope, can't have that. Because, you know, sooner or later, I go to and plane. I can't have no fat ankle pump plane. Me have to, the, the foot, them at least have to look good. Because when I land, hey, I may go for go wash off my heart. I, I'd like to be in a bit more, a better physical condition. Morning, Judith, Martin Cousin. Yes. <laughs> Below my people and my chippy and if sweet me. I you know, listen, I had an amazing time last week. The salmon family was here. They were passing through from Japan on their way to their next military base and they stopped by. Mr. Listen, if you find yourself in the Charleston Good morning, Anne Marie. Where you going with darling? And if you find yourself in the Charleston, South Carolina area, do not hesitate to hit me up. Let me know when you not come in town. Come and live right here in a historic downtown Charleston. And we see it different from how other people may see it. But at least we can big up with stuff because we're there, but not for we're there undercover. I mean, you, know, you do know that we assimilate well. Yes, so it's only under certain circumstances that you would really know. So, yeah, the devil. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Morning, darling. Yes, it is Happy Miss Lou Day. I posted earlier an entire, what, month-long celebration for the Honorable, Honorable Louise Bennett Coverley. Yes, was she have all the enough letter to behind our name. The, I, I have had the opportunity to see the statue in Gordon Town, but uh, there's a Miss Lou Festival, there's all sorts of things. Check out the schedule, I did make sure I drop it. Good morning, Angela! Yes, straight from the rock! Woo! Mango still the boat? Angela, Angela, I not mean, really when a Jamaican name you know. I really can't get the same something. I'm not on a coconut tree. It's not like the people in my Florida. But they can't get all sorts of something. My people when they're in New York, they can't get all sorts of something. They are supper. Angela, we're the pony tree right now. <laughs> I, shh. Me not beg. I'm not beg, me I beg. Um, we're, we're just um, feeling nostalgic for something. Come in our line, me that love for super my mouth with a do with a mango right now. Candies! Hey candy girl! Listen, check her out. She always has sales. My girl sells some good good jewelry. Me lazy as box and I see him platinum steel earring. When me put now my ears from Ecuador, them in a position. Me just take them out and clean them every now and then. Hey Chad! Okay, ladies, ladies, pardon me. You, you see me at away when the man didn't come in, right? It's Virgo time and I'm Pisces, darling. What did I say? I saw Pisces people at during Virgo time. We go in. Anywho. So, I'm, I'm just, um, I'm preparing. I'm preparing. 
Oh, no, hold up there. Wait, I Jamaica want to get it? Because I, know, I don't think they Do me a favor. If um drop the link in the comments, come and can't find it. Because I know they don't have it just so far. Let me see what we have for Google yesterday. today. Because mm -mm, a regular old Google symbol this. I'm not doing it so. No, man. Google Doodle. What am I giving today? No. Mm -mm. What's today? Vietnam National Day. Brazil Independence Day. That's what they've given us. So somebody please, please to send me the link for Jamaica, for Jamaica's Google. Because you know some have to go make sure somebody share that. Yeah, we don't have that today. Today... America then give Brazil independence. See, it's a, it's a little things like that. Oh, for those who look, eh, hey, how oh, many owners did actually make it go New York and go Carnival? It didn't look good here. It didn't look nice. All of a cousin they did out there. My gosh. I, I, I'm going to make it back one year. It's been, it's been many years since I've attended. But I do think I have a strategy for documentation that I would enjoy. Now, you have to excuse me. Me's not really a parkway person. Me's a juve morning person. Yes. But like go between Bam, Grand Army Plaza and Bedford Avenue. That's at the stretch when them I come through the bush. Botanical Garden on one side and Prospect Park on the other. You can't tell me I'm a country with it. And all you hear is say, I, I and the rhythm them and the people. Ooh, yeah. Our Veronica, they said, Veronica, I can't see your comment. Morning, morning, mo oh, morning, Mary. Mm -hmm. Indianapolis, Indiana. Yes, girl. Hi, Veronica. Well, Genesee, I've been to Fort Wayne, Indiana, where the five rivers meet. A very blessed place. It was an interesting time in my life when my brother's soul rest in peace, but in five rivers, they brought some major consolation to the time. Indeed. I think, who else in Indiana? That boy got it out there some year. <laughs> hey, nobody call him too much. Can I come? Me have got cuss him out this morning. <laughs> I'm going to behave myself. Somebody drop me that Google on something. I want to change it. I don't see it. Okay. A few articles. We're going to find it. Could somebody who's currently on the island in Jamaica kindly send me the link for Miss Lou's doodle as um Google is giving her her doodle. I'm going to go hunt down and find it because, again, you can see how we are separated. We're one, but we're separated. Here in America, they're giving us Brazil independence. But don't I jump rock? Yes! Come in, Miss Lou. Let me see if we can't find it. Miss Lou... Google Doodle. Come on a treat, me go down. Aye. I see I news for it. Yahoo News. Ah, come and talk. Yahoo News says. Bam. Come make we share the joy. Turn on. Bam. See it there. Who is the Jamaican poet? Louise Bennett Coverley. Aye. Big up Jamaica! Yes, cultural icon Louise Bennett Coverley was the subject of Wednesday's Google Doodle on her 103rd birthday. The poet worked to pres the poet and educator worked to preserve her native language, patois or creole, through poetry, folk songs, and literature. Now resting in her place of birth, Kingston, Jamaica, the first black student of London's Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, still inspires minds across the world. Big up yourself, Miss Lou! Every day, all day. Louise Simone Bennett Coverley was born on September 7th, 1919, died on July 26, 2006 in Canada. We're going to drop them, they link them bit by bit. Hold on there. I'm going go back here so I'm going to drop in that comment them so I know if I find it later so I can repost and I two of them I get bam that was Yahoo I even better picture 
Yes. Yes. Champion of our country's language and culture. Inspiring Jamaicans to take pride in both. And this we call name culture. Bum. Empowered the country to take pride in its language and culture. See, this is why we talk about so why Patwa is important. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing. Let me make sure some is shared everywhere. Because we have to spread the news. Spread the Twitter deso. Come back here so. Lick this one. Come again. Come again. As some is staying up. Bam. Lick it again. Go find out again and get this link for the Facebook post. And then come back. As some in here so sometimes just do something. You know. As some is stay. And then. Yeah, yeah. Look on the page of Mega Pussy. Eh, eh. I'm not to you there as myself. Oh, what a backside. Let me, uh -uh. Let me have my comments. That are, see, this are the nonsense when I tell on the Facebook and take me through. Why I may not even know where the backside me there for go find on Because it's like switching personalities. You literally saw me post that comment, but it went in as my profile and not as my page. So, I saw it ago. Them have some new changes. We are rolled with them. And as long as Miss Lou the boat and I get fair honor, that's all we care about right now. Bam. I gotta find every blasted article we have because she let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I had the 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 blessing of arriving on the island at the age of seven in nineteen seventy one. No, seventy two. 72, yes, 1972. And this was at the time when, uh, well, one TV station, and it go off at night, and you see the signal upon the something, but radio, radio. I lived with my grandmother. Actually, everybody, I also say what, except for my cousin, but in Ghana, I found a few different words. Radio. And being in New York, I. I have brothers and sisters, what was coming across the radio was different. Being in Jamaica and hearing these words and these sounds on radio and every Saturday morning and you get around for ring the and listen, it was an amazing, amazing time. So I will not ever disregard, put aside my culture. Because no matter how many passports I have, and no matter how many countries in some part of, I just in on me. It's what allows me to be and converse and flow with people. It's what allows me to, when I lie with me out in that crowd, I'm Eastern out. At the Jamaican mess. You can't buckle it. You can't buy it. It has to come natural. <laughs> You either have to spend a whole lot of time on the island. Can remember, you know, I'm not for way of blood, but still now put through the Jamaicanness. You have to go down and spend some time on the rock. You know, I and I, I know quite a few who were born in different foreign lands, and they've had the opportunity to be in communities that have very strong West Indian and Caribbean life. So they have access. So we can't pass them. Because many people in our diaspora, them are all strong. They can't chat good patwa. But we have one and two. We have, we have scheme for some of my grandnies and their feet, you know. Because they're quite speaky, spooky in their language. And I want to make sure that depending on who them speak to, they can't switch up real good. Because, you know, it's necessary. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm sweeting myself this morning. I can't see some of my comments. Yes, to make it to the world. I bum. Do -do -do. Okay. I see it there. Thank you, Lisa. We got that one there. I'll be the pun today. Miss Lou Day, Miss Lou Day. Bum. We want, we want fast and see the one there. What I want to say. Okay, Jamaica Observer, the same one. All right. We know that Tanya Hernandez is going to be, be doing some amazing work because, you know, she love our Miss Lou and that's Tanya Hernandez. Hey, Toronto and no, I ramp for the Miss Lou moment, you know, because we know so let now go do fair thing too. And then I guarantee you don't have Florida. Um, Miss Rothman, 
Yes, Rose, I got to fear a thing too. Listen, have an absolutely wonderful day. My name is Brenda Jennifer Pitt. No to you as Miss BJ Pitt. And I just wanted to spend a little time with you. Be blessed. Enjoy Miss Lou Day. Celebrate Miss Lou the entire month. And no matter what, celebrate the yardy in a you. Teach the picnic them what you do. Teach them culture and heritage. Because like my daddy always say, how where your people come from? <laughs> yes, candies. Big it up every day, all day. Mwah. Jamaica, that a world. Mm -hmm. We do have to safeguard our culture and success of generations. That's why it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Regardless, that, that's why I love the Salmon family. The Salmon family was set up there. And even though I didn't know a lick word of Japanese, but to actually hear... Um, Japanese spoken with a Jamaican accent it was a beautiful thing. And because we, they also know Spanish and they also know English, we are masters. Send me some of the gun again, but we try, but we are, you're going to heat me up. We are masters of many things in this world. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. They don't understand the versatility of the Jamaican, the resilience of the Jamaican. The out of many one people is actually displayed in the average Jamaican, especially, especially when you take them off the island and drop them in different territories. Because being Jamaican, it's, it's, it's a resiliency factor. It's more than our DNA. It's a character builder. I, as I said before, and I say it again, Never send me guy yard from seven to fourteen. I have no idea, no idea who I would have been. Listen, have an amazing day. Big up, Miss Lou, every day, all time. When I say want to want to get you, get to get to know want don't forget your culture, no, don't forget your roots. You can't find it everywhere. Even if you can't go touch on a yard, you can't find a yardie. What about peace?